Hi there, I'm Lorna from Wu Junior, and this is Dot, and today we're going to show you how to make some bubble art as a quick craft. <laughs> a lot of people think that doing crafts has to take a long time, and it doesn't. We can do some pretty fast stuff that's pretty fun, huh? Can I pick up a bottle and give it to you? Sure. Which color do you want? Um, I want blue. Okay. So, to do this project, we need some water, and we're going to pour it into our little pie tins. <laughs> little pie tins. Little pie tins. About halfway full. Okay. Okay. And then we need a squirt of dish soap. Okay. Squirt there. I got the no-no bottle here. Thanks. Okay, and what we have discovered is you have to make the colors pretty dark in order for it to yeah. turn out. So we're gonna put in a whole bunch. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops of blue. What color should Mama have? Mm. Oh, I wanted green, didn't I? I don't know, did you change your mind? You want green now? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. That one's yours and that one's mine. We'll just switch them around, no problem. Okay, then we take our straws and stir it up. Okay. Try not to get it too full. Okay, and then Dot knows how to do this next part. We're gonna blow some bubbles, gently, gently. Okay, and we want a big pile of bubbles. Can you make a big pile of bubbles? Now Dot knows from experience, you only want to blow, not to suck. What happens if you suck it up in the straw? We would just spit it out spit and it, it would just, just be a little yucky. Yeah, it would be a little yucky. Okay, so go ahead and blow those bubbles. And I have here some blank note cards. And what we're doing is we're making thank you cards for our neighbors because they brought us a present yesterday. So now Dot's got a big pile of bubbles. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our blank card, ready? And we're going to lay it down on the bubbles and squish the bubbles all over it. What happens is sometimes the bubbles kind of stick to it, and that's okay because they'll pop. And we're going to end up with this beautiful marbled look. Let's see. Go ahead and blow some more bubbles, and I'll make some blue ones. Try to do it gently. <gasps> to do it gently, that's good advice. Dot says try to do it gently. Okay, we'll put that on there. Okay, and should we try some green too? Put that on there. And then what happens is because there's the food coloring in the bubbles, wherever the bubbles touch, it makes a color. It's kind of hard to see on the camera there, but we'll have a picture of it for you up um, on craftjunior.com and we'll have all the instructions there too if you want them. One more time. Take it way down in there and blow. And it does sometimes make your paper kind of curve a little bit, so you want to flatten it out when it's drying. Okay, can I put some green on here? Ready? Awesome, thank you. So now when our bubbles pop, they'll leave that beautiful color behind. And we also have done some um, matching envelopes too. We've done a few different color combinations. We've got uh, blue and red, we've got uh, purple and green and all kinds of fun stuff. Was that a pretty fun project? Yeah, I want more dog colors. Uh, should we make some more colors? Yeah. Okay, sounds like fun. All right, well, we hope to see you over there at Craft Junior. Thanks so much. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye.